All right, I just wanted to do a quick maintenance video on how to grease the drum switches, which I believe come on all the wood misers from the LT35s up to the LT50s. So this is something that wood miser recommends you do every 50 hours. I probably, I probably do it maybe every 75 or 80 hours or 100 hours. Um, honestly, I do notice it being an issue and that kind of reminds me I need to do it. Um, basically what happens is you'll like click it down and it won't it won't go down and then you have to like fiddle with it until it finally goes down uh, so I probably need to get better about it but uh, if if you're new to wood miser just you know want to know how this works um, this is what this is what you do so first thing that I like to do is just kind of wipe off the whatever dust that is there because the sawmill Uh, basically the only thing you're going to need are some q-tips. Now I've got these fancy q-tips, but I've used regular q-tips. Regular q-tips seem to leave a little bit of lint behind, and these fancy q-tips uh, I got from my previous work, and I don't know how much, I'm sure they cost way more than they're worth, but they seem to leave a little bit less lint, a lint, little bit less lint, um, and because I have them, I'm using them. But regular q-tips work just fine. While I'm in here, I just like to try to keep everything as clean as possible. All right, sorry for the first person thing. Um, so this is how it looks like when I open it. I don't know what's up with the this being open. Uh, that should obviously stay closed. That must have just shaken loose. I think that's, oh, that doesn't do much good now, does it? So that should be a little sticky, a little Velcro, but. So I'm just gonna set that there for now. Yeah, so there's a lot more dirt in here than last time I opened this up. That's probably why it's causing me issues. So first thing, I may need more of these Q-tips. I'm just going to go in and try to clean the contacts. That's a lot more dirt than I'd like to see. I'm going to need more Q-tips. Now I wasn't noticing any issues with the forward reverse. It was just the up down that I was noticing every now and then it wouldn't wouldn't work. All right, now that I've got it clean, I'm just going to take a little dab of grease. You don't need much. All right. And you just kind of just barely touch it on the contacts. All right, that's it. Now while I'm here, I'm just gonna pick out some of the dust, some of the sawdust that's 
collected in my cup. 